Hello, hello, my name is Rhea, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today we're buying a house. Because that sounds really chill and like something I want to do. So, it's time for the dream home? Yes, yes, yes. 3,000 rupees, it's half my money. Oh, 1,500, got it. We're glad to have you as a customer. You can get started right away. As I mentioned, we have already, already have a prime plot of land set aside for you. It's a bit southwest of here and has an excellent view. Mm. While it's a bit far away, there's a shrine over in that direction, okay? Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak with him there for more details. <laughs> I hope you enjoy building your dream home, so look. I do, I will, I will enjoy it. It sounds like a really chill thing to do. We're just gonna go over there to the shrine and build our nice home. Maybe Zelda won't steal this one. She steals homes from me. Hey, I'm assuming, oh, no, over this way. This way. Ooh, lots of room to grow. Hi. Sun and Dun, what's your name? Grantison. Hello, hey, hello, you must be Link. I'm Grantison of Hudson Construction. Rondinson told me about you. I'm here to answer all your home building questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First, if I could direct your attention this way. Ah. This is the plot of land you purchased. If you place the rooms we sell here well, you're on your way to building a one-of-a-kind dream home. Oh. Let's see, it looks like your contract includes two rooms. Mm. Excellent, two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One moment, please. I'm kind of really curious about this, and I'm liking that it's playing some old school music. Uh -huh. Oh, look. These are the two rooms. The one on the left is the foyer, and the one on the right is the bedroom. They are covered with nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry, we'll remove them once construction is complete. Ah. Now all you need to do is place both rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms as they fit nicely within the rope boundaries. One more thing, you can only place rooms in the roped off area. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Now let me know when you're done, I can perform an inspection. With that, please thoroughly enjoy taking your first steps towards building your dream home. Cool. So I need this. So this is like the outside, like the front porch almost, kinda. So we'll say, you walk in, there's a foyer. Oh, well, you don't. Do they all have doorways? Like, how does this work? I, I kinda wanna see what it looks like after I place it and attach it and stuff. Cause that looks like the front door. Well, we don't want that, do we? Hold on. We want a doorway. I get that. Hmm. I'm assuming it wants me to do it like this for now. I'm gonna probably buy more. But I want it to face outside on over the mountain, you know? Oh, not that far. Like, like this. So I don't want to look at rock when I walk out. Like I want to walk in and see this. Yes. Alright, how does this look? Bring hard, I see what can I do for you. I'm done. I'll start the inspection right away. I can build 13 more units, sir. I have a lot going on here. I wonder how much they're going to cost. If they're not too expensive, I have uh. quite a bit of money. I didn't find any problems during the inspection. You're free to go inside. You're telling me that was your first time? Nice work. Your dream home is complete at last, so congratulations. I'll call Roninson over. Please wait here for just a moment. Before I even get to look at my own house, we're going to call her over. Oh. Sorry for the wait. How are things? Are you happy with your investment? Of course, this is only the first step. The real building process begins now. <laughs> I hope you can explore building your dream home. After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of room options. Speak with Grante's son if you want to know more. This isn't much, but here's a little gift to celebrate starting your dream home. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'll be by your side as long as it takes to build the home of your dreams. Why don't you take a look inside of the rooms you placed? Oh, that was a dude. Sorry. I messed up his voice. Okay. Let's go look at our home, and then we're probably going to change it. Yeah, this is nice, I guess. I can come here and sleep. Okay, I want more. I'm not happy with my tidy home. Not happy with it. It's ridiculous. It looks it looks ridiculous. Come on. Mm. Once again, congratulations on having that construction project done. 
I hope my introduction to the whole process was clear enough. After all, you can have so much more built. Maybe you'd like your house to have more of the comforts of home or maybe some convenient features. If you want to give it a try, don't tarry. Just talk to Grante, son, that's me. At Husting Construction, we offer a variety of customizable options. Just buy a new room and remodel away. New rooms are an investment, which is why you can preview your options so you can make a choice that's right for you. Now then. Okay. Okay, I'll get things ready. Just a moment, please. I kind of want to know how much things are going to cost though, before I start building it and get exactly what I want, and I don't have enough money. Ah. Thanks for waiting. You're all set to begin the construction. Ah. If you need anything, just let me know. Oh. I trust the construction is going well. Is there anything I can do for you? I need more rooms. Ah. Want to change your room? Say no more. What can I do for you? I'll buy our preview rooms. Oh, they're not bad. Oh, this is intense. Whoa. I want a flower bed. I want a garden pond. This is all so exciting. I want one of these. I want one of these. I want some indoor stairs. So I'm gonna make two stories. Mm -hmm. I'll take a. Ah. Got a foyer. What's a paddock? Oh. I don't use the horses enough to actually need them up here. I'll take a study. And a blessing room. A blessing room? I'll take a blessing room. I'll take a kitchen. I can cook away. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's see. A gallery? What does this do? Oh, I can throw a picture up. That's, uh, I'll, t I'll buy one because I have the money for it, so. I never really used the shield weapon in whatever span, but I'm gonna buy him just cause. Oh. I ran out of rooms. Hmm. Uh -huh. I ran out of rooms I can have out. I gotta see what I what I came up with first. <laughs> I'm probably gonna. Oh. It says I only used 19 units. Why, why, why is there? I need a room to expand my rooms. First off, I need one of those square things. My bedroom's gonna go upstairs. I need another square room though. Um, blessing room's gonna go over here. I need two of those square rooms, actually. This is gonna go here. This one's gonna go upstairs. Probably a bit like this. And then uh, this pond can go out front. I'm sure I'll rearrange stuff once I actually see what it looks like in here. We'll put it. We'll put it over. I'm gonna have something sticking out right there. Yeah. So let's put it right here. And then my. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. We'll put it right on this side. Like this. And then we'll take my flower bed. My flower bed. Oh, it's an L. I like that. Okay. And we'll put it over on this side. Like this. Sorry, I know this is a lot more of a different type of episode than I usually do. I just needed some chill out time. I just needed that after all that I did last time. What is this stuff? Oh yeah, stairs. I need my stairs. My stairs are probably gonna go over here. So let's go ahead and attach that there, if I can. Yeah. And you're gonna be attached. Your cooking room, so you go here. And I'll put... The blessing room right in the... Is that the blessing room? What is that? What is that? That's my picture room. I don't really care much about that. But my blessing room, I want it downstairs. No, I want it upstairs, don't I? Yeah, I want it upstairs. 
So we'll put it right. It's called this episode Building with Rhea. <laughs> it's not going to be the best house. Probably the most basic that anybody ever makes. But I am so excited about this. This is fun. Okay, I need more homes. I need a square furnished room. <laughs> and I need an angled, no. Ah. I need an angled furnished room. Oh. Hmm? I'm not sure why yet. <sighs> okay. Ah. Oh. No. Ah. Why don't they have enough room for my stuff? Mm. Okay, you can go in the middle. Kind of want the table to be that way when you walk in. Slider right there. I'll put my gallery room right here. I guess I don't. I don't know if I really want to keep this one. I don't want to put it up here. Let's just stick it right here for now. It's not where it's going to stay. Okay, can I buy a triangle room? I don't want that. And one more of these. Mm -hmm. oh. And a weapon stain room. Uh -huh. ah. Oh, I'm out of money. I'm out of money. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. That's my study space. I don't know what to do with that one yet. I don't know what to do with that one. And pull this out and just set it up here for. Oh, I can't go higher than two stories. It's alright. Let's uh, put this room up here. I like how big this room is. And that one can be funky face. So I don't really care. I wonder if it's on the exterior, will it automatically put walls up? Because I don't want, like, open... I'm not an open floor plan kind of person, to be honest with you. What is this? Oh yeah, my picture thing. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm doing that yet. Oh yeah, I am. I'm gonna go up here. Okay, so one thing I think I could do is I could put this one, like this, the study right here, like that, and then get my room out, hold on, the other one. If I put this guy over here, I wonder if it'll leave it open. I don't really like that. Hold on, let, let me fiddle, let me fiddle. Hi, hello, my name is Rhea, and welcome to my crib. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm outside. I got my nice little pond. Oh, it's a fish in here. What? Armored carp has been bred into a prize winning fish. Huh. Kind of want to take it out. Look at it. Why is it on the bottom if I've never got one before? Sorry, 
sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll continue the tour in a minute. I just am very curious about this fish I just got. Dead fish. Okay. And why don't you walk in and you are greeted with this beautiful living area. Along with a kitchen to cook all of my meals. A lovely space to store my shields. Any more shields I want to display? Yeah, I can display this one. And my failed attempt at beating Lionels. Which is fine. That's good. I don't need that sword display. I like my swords, though. I don't want to get rid of my sword. I guess I can fit this one out. That one's nice. Um... Nothing else is really all that good. I'm not having any of these. Okay, um, so then you go over here and you've got your stairs to go up. What is this? Can I read these? No. You go up the stairs, ignore the cobwebs in the corner. We don't talk about those. And upstairs is another lovely little dining area along with a place to display my favorite pictures and a shrine to get more hearts if I want them. Also right over here is a little study to have some private time to myself. And over here, I can take a little nap and go night-night. So, that's my home, and thank you for coming. I like it a lot. I think it's cute. I wish you could add more stuff. I'm sure I could, I don't know, add more, like, railings and stuff to it. But I'm happy with it. It's cute. It cost me all my money, but that's okay. I don't really need to buy anything else anyway. I bought everything I wanted. Uh, but yeah, there it is. So I know where to go if I need to heal up and get some more hearts. I don't have to worry about trying to find a shrine. It's really boring. I wish I could color it. Can you? Can I do anything else to this thing? No. Um, okay, I'll leave it at that. Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's go to the Yiga Clan hideout that I talked about last time. Over here. Wait, that's not it. Over... Where is it? Oh, down here. Yeah, let's go here. It is unbearably cold for my poor Link. He is freezing. And we're going this way. It did look like there was a thing to go, to go down to. Um, it's right there, isn't it? The shrine down there, too. Luckily, that's where I'm headed. Um, the depths. It looks like there's a chasm there, too. So that's kind of cool. So we'll head down here, and hopefully things will go well. Before I have to change my Yiga Clan stuff, I have a feeling. Luckily, I've collected all that already. Let's take a bit to get down here, though, doesn't it? That skydiving music is just legit. Like, it's like. Da -da 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 -da. Now, I want to get this shrine first before we. Ooh. This place looks terrifying. Get this shrine first. Don't worry about the chasm later. Okay. Well, can I at least find it, though? Like... Okay. And what did you say you were? Oh, I don't know. But we'll see. Let's go in. High five. <laughs> A balanced plan. Ooh. What if I stand here? Ho ho ho. Okay. I see. Don't have anything to balance with though. You didn't give me anything to to balance. I'll just run over the best. Good. And this time we'll pick this up. Perfect, perfect. Can I grab that though? In case I need it, I might need it. No. Okay, this one seems as though it's gonna need... I don't see a problem with it. I just need to be able to get across. I just need to go like the... Oops. I just need to go... Like... 
Yes. Oh no. I'm not sure about this one. Hold on. I got the treasure <laughs> just by using my reverse thing. Where am I supposed to go? Above it? And then fly in? So I have an idea. Might not be exactly the right idea, but I'm thinking. I'm um, not that. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. Let's take this off. Oh, I can't. I can't take this off. Oh, I need to get up there. Oh, I. I have another idea. Where'd that thing go? There it is. I think I need to like counterweight it, you know, like put this out more. Like if this goes like this. And then I put this on it. It should... Ah, uh, maybe. I didn't even think about what that treasure was. Is that not enough? That's not enough. That's enough. It was enough. I'm so smart. Okay. High five. Now, we'll go to the Yaga Clan hideout. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I was also looking at what I needed to upgrade my fierce armor. And I, you've got to like chase down the dragons and get their scales and claws. Which I can do. I just, that's not, that's not fun for you guys. So I'll do that on my own. Okay, we are on Danger's Door. Let's change clothes. I was wondering if you could dye this. Like, can you dye this armor and like make it whatever color you want if you don't want to be red? Can I be a, to be like a green guy? Hello? Hello? Um... Hello? Hello? How do I- how do I go in then? I feel like I might have missed something since I just flew in, so I'm gonna kinda go look around and see if I can find anything. somebody hello hey don't get near me dressed like that what if they get suspicious of me too go away and be quick about it good lord i'll just change clothes that's fine i just was trying to talk to you about your extended car warranty oh. step right up come and chill hot bananas fresh off the grill hold them in your hand feel the heat take a big bite what a treat and the flavor like a dream a little taste of heaven if you know what i mean stop right there and buy a pair Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh. huh? Ah. We're the burr boss. I already beat your boss. I don't know if you realize this, but I am way past. Oh. That's why I like spears, though, because I can. Oh. I can just smack them. Smack around a bit. Whoa, whoa, what is that? What is that? What is that about? That was annoying. Got a Sunda land, though. Need full blade. Don't think that's what I was supposed to be doing, but I didn't. Just thought I'd check it out. I'm not in the mood for you. Mark my sneaky armor, too. 
deaths, but with badly damaged. I thought I was using, I forgot I was just using that. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Yep. Anything good? Okay. I just put one up on my wall, I think, didn't I? No, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, like I said, I think I entered the wrong way. So I think I gotta go back this way. Oh, I don't wanna fight you. Do I have a picture of you? I do. What's for my? I'm not wearing very good armor. It's not bad armor. It's just not the armor I want to wear. I want my fierce deity stuff. I need to go sell this extra one I have too. I need all these crap weapons. At least I'm clearing the path for me in a minute, though. Bye. Oh. Oh, it's just a deer. Calm down. Wild berries, wild berries. I can eat him, actually. Okay, I decided that wasn't working for me, so I'm going to go to where the picture of the Yiki Clan hideout is on my map. Let's see if maybe it's just higher up. Is it that thing? Oh, wrong button. This way. There's a cave right there, it looks like. Maybe that's important? Or is that water? I can't tell. I cannot tell. Looks like it's a cave. We're gonna go in here. Oh, this looks serious. Oh no, it just looks like it's underneath the thing. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the right way, though. This looks like a good idea to be doing. Oh. Fight all these guys real quick. I'm not doing very good because I'm using a really, really, really bad item, but that's okay. Kind of want it to break. There we go. And I can use... I guess I'll use this. I'm sure it is badly damaged. It's really, really a rather awful thing to use. But I need these to, um... Oh, I don't want to use that. I need ew, 94. That's awesome. Look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. I bet that's great with um with my boost I've got. Apparently, I've never seen one of these before. A gnarled wooden stick. Whatever, it's one more for the compendium. Okay, so maybe I follow this. This looks promising. Maybe I was going through the back door, or trying to go through the back door. This looks promising. Okay, hold on, let me uh, change back. Uh, 
I swear I'm not Link. I am definitely not Link. Definitely not Link. Ah. Hey, um, I heard that I could learn this really cool move here. I think it's called the Earthquake Technique. I heard that too. Get lost. Only you clan members may enter this place. And I want to join you. I heard that you guys could teach me some cool moves that I'd have everyone swooning over me. To join us is to become part of a collective shrouded in secrecy, our lives sworn to Master Conga. Who are you before matters not. Only your strength, your loyalty, and your skill for espionage. Find our three branches and collect the clan attire. Earn your place among us and the door will open to you. Maybe then we'll teach you our moves. Now go away. Huh? Go away? I don't even get a hint about where the branches are or even a peek at what the Yu Clint wears. Hey, come on, you gotta be kidding. My mom said I know my sweet little Mimos will pass the Giga Clan test first try. That's why I came all the way out here. Not only did I pass, I didn't even get past the front gate. But if I do join the Yiga Clan, then I'll be able to learn some cool moves. If I could bust them out, I bet everybody would be like, wow, Mimos, you're so handsome and cool, hmm? Whoa, a real life Yiga. Awesome, I've never seen one in person before, so that's what the Yiga outfit looks like, huh? So that's the Yiga outfit, huh? Looks like. Looks even more stylish than I thought. Okay, I settled it. I'm finding those branches and getting those duds. Then those cool Yiga moves will be all mine. Oh man, I'm gonna be so popular. Okay, bye, dude. I got stuff to do. Hi. I'd like to come in, please. All right, come in. Thanks. Hi. What's up? Um, let me go talk to this guy. He looks really important because he's in the middle, and then I'll talk to the rest of you. That fearless demeanor. I heard you had promised, but I didn't think you'd earn your place, let alone rise to Blade Master. A splendid feat. But don't let your title bloat your ego. Stay faithful to the cause with a sharp blade and a silent heart. I imagine you're well acquainted by now, but this hideout is... The linchpin of the Yiga Clan's subterranean expansion. It's where our, we train our members, develop our special vehicles, and do whatever else needs doing. I hope you'll find this place can serve you as well as you can serve it. We're grateful to have you, Blade Master. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm the best. Okay, what do you got? I don't want to buy either one of those. I think so. Can I sell stuff to you? Okay, can't sell stuff to you. Okay, next guy. Heh, <laughs> I love how these... Heh, heh. How I love my little spikes. There's something so deliciously dangerous about having them around. Hey, jerk. Anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? Don't tell me you're here to get some spikes of your very own. I'm spike shopping. 100 rupees. Sure. Here, I need you to um, buy my extra armor I've gotten here, if you don't mind, dude. Now, I actually have a little bit of money on me. I don't feel so... i got all these different caps of the something. Alright, let's... Ooh. I don't know, I had to take pictures of these guys. What? What? Sure. It's just his torso. Um, let's pick an uh, weapon. I'm gonna make dust claymore. I haven't really done anything with that yet. Let's be used to that. <laughs> eh, not much. Just plus ten. It probably makes it windy too, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'm using this right now. Hold on, I gotta go see if I can take this guy's picture, because I'm not sure what he is. He's a foot soldier. Oh, I don't have pictures of some of this stuff, though. Do I? Oh, I don't have the long blade. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm doing a lot of good stuff for my compendium. I haven't even looked in there yet, lately. Where's this stuff? Arrows? No, I don't need any of that. Do I have a duplex bow, though? I do. Thanks. And that looks like something exciting. That looks like something exciting. Hold on, I want to check everything around here first. So 
storage. And, oh. Banana guy? You a banana seller? Just couldn't resist, could you? See the quality of a true banana, I see. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I don't need any of that. Okay, uh, let's go here, I guess. These cave drawings. Can I get in there? Hmm. Hmm. Just been going downstairs then. Oh, this kind of is familiar. I feel like this is just like the last time. I had to like climb up in the raptors and stuff. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna finish building this for you. I don't mind. Even though you kind of are the enemy. I'm not sure what I want to mess with. Thank you. There you go. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to repair the frame. Don't touch it. Or do you want to be made into parts? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was being helpful. I thought you'd be happy with what I did. Yeah, I'm interested in it. If you really want to know for an answer, I could sell you one for that many rupees. No. Just as long as you tell me your thoughts on how to improve this vehicle. Oh, and don't tell anybody you got it from me. I'd be bad for me if this got out. Wait, I wasn't done here. I shouldn't have bought it. Dang it. There it is, Tarzan. I'll take it. It's a waste of money. That's okay. This guy is dangerous. He's a spiky boy. Doesn't have a controller on. Oh, it does. This is so cool. Can I just keep it here? It's gonna despawn after I go back inside. I already know it. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Because I know where to buy another one if I need to. Wait, do I need this torch? I'm gonna go burn this down. No? Not what I'm supposed to do? Ah, it is. Cool, treasure. Treasure, treasure. Probably a blade or something. Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> I guess I can have it anyway. That's fine. Alright, let's go back down there and see what else was up there. Or going on down there. I see this little thing in the wall. I want to see if I can... Is there something back here? How do I... What good does that do me? It doesn't do me any good. Hmm. Okay, I'm leaving your car parts alone. I'm going on to the next guy. I don't want to buy any of your stuff. I just want to learn cool techniques. See, are you going to try to sell me stuff, too? Tell me. What? Between the tasteless gloom dredger over there and this Hoover Doom MK3, which one do you think is more beautiful? The Hoover Doom, duh. <laughs> Easiest question you'll ever answer. The Hoover Doom is a whole different beast from the all-show number three over there. Simplicity with a dash of recklessness. Now, that's how you craft a dangerous weapon. Cool. No, it doesn't even have wheels. I'll pass. You did. Sorry. 
lot cheaper, but it doesn't have wheels or anything, so I'd have to build all that myself. It's over here. I remember this was where we'd go sneak off to the in the raptors. I want to see if uh, the banana room's up there. This one was one of the most frustrating levels in the last thing. And this room was full of bananas. What's this? Read the Lightning Helm journal? Yeah. The Thunder Helm has been passed down from one Gerudo chief to the next for generations. Though we are, we were briefly able to steal this electric shock repellent helm, it was quickly retaken. We had mistaken their chief's youth for nativity and paid the price for it in return. Makala Riju is not to be taken lightly. Though our time with the Thunder Helm was brief, we did manage to complete a thorough analysis of it. Finding lightning resistant materials was no small feat, but I suppose that makes sense for the Gerudo sacred heirlooms. Even with the metals and gems on hand, however, we still cannot seem to replicate the techniques used to craft it. I've been struck by lightning more times than I can count. I felt my soul flicker on the boundary between life and death. Just as my body neared its limits, one of our intelligence officers shared some promising news. While disguised as a traveler, he headed off with a fledgling tailor and learned about a special stitching technique. We applied the technique to our own helm, and for the first time it repelled lightning. Our lightning helm was born. Just as Grudo's sacred heirlooms was said to be selective about its users, so too is our lightning helm. Our inconsistent results were not merely technological, but contingent on the helm's compatibility with its user. Though I had hoped to train someone to wear the helm, the many electric shocks I've suffered have taken their toll. My body is at its end, and my chance to name a successor is long past. Though I can make only one, I leave this world dreaming of the day a member of our clan dons the lightning helm. And at long last brings the royal family of Hyrule to Rune. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Now I'm gonna go down there. Look, it's me as a monster. Yeah. Oh, what's up here? Before I continue on with what I probably should be doing. Ah, yes. Flashbacks of the past. Oh, there's somebody. Is that a Thunderhelm? So you're the Yiga clan. So you're the Yiga who made Blade Master faster than anyone else in history. This is where we mortals train. I won't begrudge you with your title. You're clearly capable, but you're a newcomer to my arena. I'll treat you as such. So now, newcomer, Zelda's appearance has provided us with an opportunity to crush Hyrule Spirit once and for all. But her appointed swordsman Link is still out there, alive and kicking, stubborn little wrench. Hence our intensive training. He's a formidable warrior and we'll all need to hone our skills to take him down. If you value your life, I recommend you do the same, Blade Master, title or no. Show enough promise. Ah. And you might even earn our precious lightning helm. It's our sacred treasure, completely resistant to electricity. But because it's such a powerful piece of armor, it can only be handled by those who have been properly trained. We train the sparring with we train by sparring with our fellow Yiga. We set a timer and the combatants just keep coming. You'll earn better and better prizes based off the number of opponents you defeat. Let's see. If you really want to measure your strength, show me you can defeat three combatants in under one minute. Oh no. I have to pay for this. I don't have any stuff to pay. Alright, I hate to leave this on a cliffhanger, but I'm going to because I want to do this and then maybe get whatever that new cool power is in the next one since I'm here in the Yiga Clan hideout. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you really like to go ahead and subscribe, this has been Raya and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!